Hey guys, so I told you I'd talk about my water heater, and here we go. Alright, so with that new house that we got about a year ago, everything just seemed to work out, everything was fine, the water heater decided to bust a leak somewhere in our house about a couple months ago, and the way we found out was the kitchen floors was pretty warm, which is normally not the case. We don't have a heated floor in our kitchen but it was warmer than it should. So we got some inspector out. They took a look at it and said, yes, we have a leak in the water heater and it should be close enough to the outside of the edge we can reach to it. So we decided we would do it ourselves. So my hubby, who is really good at doing a lot of home X stuff, I guess you call it, um, decided to borrow a jackhammer from our from the neighbor next door and did start the jackhammering session and this is as far as it's gotten. So now we have a hole in our backyard underneath the patio. That's our backyard dog. Uh, our neighbor's backyard is bunked up to get ours and that dog stays outside 24-7. Rain, shine, cold, sleet, anything, he is out there. Anyway, so over the weekend, we decided that we're not going to bust out the concrete because it seemed to be a lot thicker than we planned. So we decided to go to the ceiling. So that's what we did this past weekend over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we went to the Lubbock with our grandparents for the week. Uh, Thursday and then we came back. I went to work Friday, Saturday, and then those two days plus Sunday we worked on doing the water here. So we have to go into the attic, which was a lot of fun. Uh, very cramped spaces and we had to walk very gently on this roof or we would have fallen through. So we had to walk on all the beams, which took us I did. I went up there several times throughout the Friday, Saturday, Sunday option, and then we finally got it all situated. There is some <laughs> damage to our ceiling. Uh, one of the ceiling damages is, is in the office. Oops, that was not me though. So, <laughs> so anyway, we had to run lines from upstairs in the attic to the bathroom, the kitchen stuff, the guest bathroom. And we kept having to go back to Lowe's because we were running out of stuff that we thought we bought enough of. So I got up there and I was supposed to drill a hole in the ceiling to run a wire down to our washer and dryer. Which, alright, that's fine, whatever. And so then I got up there and it's very tight up there to say the least. Alright, so I'm going to look for my iPad so I can show you some pictures of it since... I did take some pictures. It's on my Facebook, but this is going to be the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to try to do two things at once. And then, so then I sit up there and I notice he, there's some wires. We got a black one and we got a gray one. And my husband was like, just make sure you don't touch them or pull a hole through them as I'm holding a drill. Which is probably not a smart thing to do, but we had to do it anyways. So, I'm sitting up there, I did drill a hole into the she into the ceiling, so now there is a hole in the garage where I made, but it's really not that noticeable, so I'm going to say I passed with flying colors. And so then, let's see, why is this not working? And so then, um, it got really, really hot up there, but it was cold outside, so I was like, um, I took my sweatshirt on and I had to take it off because it was really, really, really hot. So I'm trying to show you some pictures of what I took while I was up there. I got to use my headlamp that I got about a year ago. I didn't get to use until t this past week, which is pretty awesome. So then here are some photos of the week. Sorry, someone called me. So that would be our kitchen sink. No, no, I'm sorry. Bathroom sinks, both uh, our guest bathroom and our bedroom bathroom out in the garage. And then here is my hubby in the attic trying to put the PEX pipe into his newly designed renovation, I guess, whatever you call it. 
that's him. So then the next picture is me in my position to drill a hole. And then here's the next photo of those wires I was not supposed to touch with a 10 foot pole, which I was laying like maybe a few inches from. And then you see this red pipe, which is where the hot water is coming through. Actually, it's just the water going through. This could get heat up with the whatever. You understand what I'm doing. So if you look close enough, you can see the hole that I made on accident and then the actual where the pipe is running from. Pretty cool, huh? And then I had to spend maybe 15, 20 minutes up in the attic making sure uh, all the leaks were not making leaks because the first time we tried the water, it was leaking. So we had to buy a tool or something like that, which he was excited about doing because, ha, huh, the guy, new toys, new, new fun things. And then this is what I was looking at for about 15 minutes. Oh, I want to side note. I had to go up there and clamp all of those, which because I am kind of small or than my hubby and so it would be easier for me to go up there. So I used the clamp tool to clamp all those little silver knots that you saw and, and then I had to sit up there and wait for him to turn the water on, full blast, and see if there's any leaks. Second time, it worked just perfectly. I love the, I got to do some hands-on job that I would never ever have done in my entire life. I got to do it, and then I got to appreciate what plumbers have to do, which I really do appreciate you guys, because I'm not going to do that again unless I really have to, because it's just really hard work. Really, really hard work. But I do appreciate the plumbers that do this day in and day out. I thank you for that. And uh, now we have hot water as of last night. Mm. And we've had no hot water probably for about a week. We had to turn it on and off, on and off, which we had to plan for that, which was a lot of work. So it was just a quick shower on, shower off, shower on, shower off. It was just, it was ridiculous. But now we have hot water thanks to my brilliance and my husband's brilliance. All right, thanks. And uh, I think next time I will, I don't know what I'm going to do next time. So we'll be both be surprised. <laughs>